Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So Halloween season is upon us and I wanted to kick off this with a really cool glam peacock tutorial. Now I teamed up with Julia Rose Salvia of Beauty by Julia here on YouTube and Instagram. She is amazing and she's doing the 31 days of Halloween on her channel. So make sure to go check out her videos and her channel down below. I will link them both. Go show her some love. Tell her that I sent you and make sure you guys keep an eye out because I have a bunch more really fun Halloween tutorials on the way for you that you do not want to miss. Let's get started. With the Urban Decay Primer Potion, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this on both of my eyelids and bringing it up into the crease and almost up under my eyebrow as well. Just very messily applying this to prep the eyelids. Now for our base, we're gonna be using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Black Bean. And I'm gonna put this all over my lid, staying away from the crease. And this can just be very sloppy because we're gonna apply color right over it. Taking the BH Cosmetics Foil Eyes Palette, I'm gonna dip into this really pretty green color. I'm gonna apply this right over that black base that we just laid down using a flat shader brush. I'm gonna do this on both eyes. Now dipping into that really pretty aqua teal color, I'm gonna take this and apply it in the crease from the outer corner to the inner corner on both of my eyes. And I really wanna pack this color on there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and dip into this really pretty lilac color. And this is gonna go right above that teal color that we just laid down. I'm gonna start really light with this just to kind of buff it in and make those two colors blend together. And then I'm gonna pack it on just a little bit heavier and I'm gonna be focusing on the outer corner and getting lighter as I get towards the inner corner. And again, just doing this on both of my eyes so they match. With this tapered brush, I'm gonna go ahead and dip into that really pretty navy color and then I'm gonna gently buff this into the outer corner of my eyes. It's really gonna help tie all three of those colors together and make them look like they are one cohesive unit. And I'm just gonna do this on both eyes before taking a large fluffy brush and then just going back and forth in windshield wiper motions to blend everything out and blend it all together so it looks nice and seamless. Now going back in with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil, I'm just gonna rub this in my lash line right below my lower lashes. I wanna lay down some color on top of this and I really want it to pop. So I'm just laying this down as kind of a base. And now I'm gonna take my Urban Decay Spectrum Palette and dip into that really pretty hot pink color. And what's really neat is when I did lay this down on top of that black, it actually made it this really intense purple color, which came out so, so pretty. And now going back in with the black eye pencil again, I'm gonna lay this down on my inner corner. Now going back in with that really pretty aqua color from the BH Cosmetics palette, I'm just gonna lay this down right over that black on the inner corner and bring it slightly into the purple on my lower lash line. Now because this is a peacock look, I wanted to do a kind of dramatic cat eye. I didn't want to go too crazy with it, but I definitely wanted it to pop. So I put a nice little black line across my upper lash line and winged it out a little bit. And then I'm also going to take that black liner and apply it on my lower lash line as well, staying really close to my waterline. Taking my favorite Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, I'm just going to apply a coat of this on my top and bottom lashes before I go in with my falsies, just so everything blends together nicely. And for falsies today, I'm going to be using the House of Lashes Noir Fairy Lights. These are my favorite lashes of life. I just think they're so, so gorgeous. And I'm just going to apply these on both of my lashes after trimming them to my eye size. And now it's time for feathers. These are just some really cool purple peacock feathers that I got from Amazon. They also sell them at Michael's or pretty much any craft store. And all I'm going to do is take some clear lash glue and start applying this right over the edge of my eyebrows. And I just want to put a nice thick coat so that they stick really well. I'm going to start by applying the first feather on the inner corner of my eyebrow, just so you can see how it kind of lines up with the corner of my eye. And I'm going to slowly layer in the other ones, and each one I'm going to put one right behind the other. You guys can see I'm following the natural shape of my eyebrow. Um, I just thought that looked really nice and really cool. As you can see, like it starts on the inner corner of my eye and then follows my eyebrow and its natural shape over to the outer corner of my eye. I just love the way it looks in this shape. You can lay them down any way that you want. Now taking these really cute self-adhesive rhinestones that I got from Michaels, I'm going to be applying these all along the eyebrow line. Even though they were self-adhesive, I wanted to put down lash glue just because I really wanted to make sure that they stayed in place for a long period of time, especially if you're going to be wearing this as an actual costume to a party or an event. And again, just starting on kind of the inner corner and then working my way outwards as if I'm almost creating like a rhinestone eyebrow. With the ABH Sweets Glow Kit, I'm going to take the purple color and apply this on the high points of my cheeks, as well as the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow. And then because the eyes are kind of crazy and dramatic, I wanted a natural lip, so I'm just applying a little bit of the Fresh Sugar Caramel Lip Treatment. To set everything in place, I'm just going to take my Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray and apply a generous dose of this all over my face.
So we're going to kick things off by starting with the Sephora Favorites Skin Wonderland set right here. And he is kind of big, so I don't know if he's going to fit in there. <laughs> That's what she said. But anyway, 